All right, Fox 5 Health News. An experimental blood test is showing promise in predicting if a breast cancer patient is at risk of a relapse. Researchers say the test can spot stray cancer cells months before new tumors can be detected on scans. Joining us now, Dr. Debbie Nampia Parempel, NYU School of Medicine. Tell hey. us about this new test. Well, so the test works on the principle that you can find the mutations in the blood. Okay. So the idea is that, you know, normally we're made up of cells, right? And we get exposed to all kinds of toxins, whether it's cancer causing viruses you know tobacco other types of things and they get damaged now these cells can repair themselves but if they can't if they're supposed to just self-destruct mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes cancer cells what makes them cancer is that they don't self-destruct they decide they're gonna stick around they're gonna go rogue Replicate, and multiply right. yeah. yeah now they can be microscopic but when they reach a certain size that's when you see the tumor on an MRI or an x-ray mammogram and so in this study what they actually found was that you know if these women had the tumor removed like with an early stage mm -hmm. surgery that they thought they were cured but you could actually detect these microscopic cells like there are mutations in the blood mm -hmm. and so you can actually find out about the cancer perhaps before you see a tumor grow again because it's too small to see it on some other type of So you scan. get you get a big head start in treating it presumably. Exactly and it's up to about eight months is what they saw. Now it's an experimental test so they still have to do more studies to see if they can do this you know for regular people sure. coming into the doctor uh, but if it does work then you get a real heads up on treatment for those folks and for the people who are not at risk for relapse. Sounds awfully encouraging. Yeah. A lot of peace line. of mind. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, a lot of people get steroid shots for back pain, but there's a new study that's highly critical of the injection saying they just offer temporary relief and they might not be worth the cost of treatments. So low back pain, that's a really complicated issue because there are so many causes, okay. right? Mm. And so with these steroid injections that actually help for nerve pain. So if you think about your spinal cord, right, it has all these branches that go down the arms and down the legs, and those are your nerves that, you know, can cause pain. Now in the spine, if you have arthritis, if you have discs or other kinds of bone and joint issues, sometimes they can press on those nerves and cause pain wherever the nerve goes. Now these injections, it's kind of like getting a super ibuprofen, a steroid, basically okay. right at that area to calm down any kind of inflammation. And if Is this, it comes Are down, these like hydrocortisone shots like athletes yeah, get? Yeah, basically the yeah. same idea. I okay. mean, there are different brands, but that's the idea. So it's like you're calming down the inflammation the same way you might treat a mosquito bite, but because it's in the spine, it's more invasive and it usually has to be done under x-ray. Now this study is actually a Review, so a synthesis of a bunch of other studies mm -hmm. and it said that the steroid injections were not more helpful than other types of injections in that area so the controversy comes in you know well the other types of injections some of them use local anesthetic which is what we use in epidurals for labor right okay. mm. so they may not be totally uh, you know like a placebo they actually have an effect too so the controversy is you know should they really be compared to each other or are these injections maybe helpful but you know other types of injections are helpful too you talk to anyone though who has issues with back pain and they right. just yeah. want I mean fix it get it better it's unbearable yeah. so what do you do I mean you need yeah something right you can't live with all that discomfort. that's true well so there's a couple different things so you have to try to figure out what's the cause of the pain for mm -hmm. different people it might be very different and then also patient preferences right like some okay. people are going to be more in favor of medications because they want the least invasive mm -hmm. you know treatment some people are going to want surgery because you know maybe they think that's more of a one-shot deal for them and then some folks are going to be more in favor of these injections because it's sort of in the middle you know not as invasive it feels as surgery, like you're doing something uh, but not as pain. many systemic effects as medications yeah, no, yeah. that, so that I think is a it, tough one it depends on the type of patient and their their preference gotcha are those usually covered by insurance or no they are covered by insurance okay. but the controversy is with these types of studies you know how long will they be covered right <laughs> yeah. that's true too right that's that's a good so. point all right <laughs> dr. dr debbie good stuff good info as always we appreciate it and let's talk to nick and we were talking to the doctor off camera before that segment just you know fall was creeping in the sun's getting a little lower and it was cool this morning until the until the warm-up came